Parlez-vous français? Fancy. Mm -hmm. I did not take French in school, <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, the founder and CEO of CrossFit has resigned. So Greg Glassman quit yesterday and announced he's going to retire. This comes just days after he made some remarks about Black Lives Matter that many found offensive. Glassman says he created a rift in the CrossFit community and unintentionally hurt many of its members. Now in a separate statement, CrossFit, the company says in part, change is needed. We all need healing and we ask for forgiveness. Athletes, gyms, Reebok and other athletic companies have been distancing themselves from the CrossFit brand because of the controversy. Now Dave Castro, who's the head of the CrossFit Games, he's going to take over as CEO. After more than 30 years on television, the show Cops is canned. Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I'm going to be really honest, I didn't know that that was still on. Uh, but it started on Fox in 1989. It's been pulled days before its scheduled season premiere amid demands to defund and restructure the police force. These same concerns prompted A&E to postpone the show Live PD. That's kind of like a drive-along show, which is one of the network's most popular series. Former USC running back and Helix High grad Reggie Bush may be one step closer to being reunited with the program that threw him into superstardom. <laughs> Reggie Bush right up the middle, gets the outside, he's at the 30, it's another foot race, cuts it back to the 20, comes back to the near side of the field, he is going to go, it's going to be another USC touchdown and another thing of beauty from one of the best running backs you have ever seen. Eric said that's how you used to watch before HD, huh? <laughs> it's just it's so fuzzy, they look You're like right, little ants. Now, according to ESPN, Bush's dis disassociation from the Trojans expected to end after 10 years. It's not official, but the 2005 Heisman Trophy winner is in a process that could lead to reinstatement with the school that could pave way for a potential retirement of his iconic number five jersey. Now, back in 2010, the NCAA ruled to permanently dissociate from Bush after an investigation found he had received cash and benefits from sports marketers, including a $600,000 house in Spring Valley. I think that he's done his time on that, and uh, he did a lot for the community, a lot for the university, and uh, it would be nice to see his jersey retired, but that's coming from, from a, a Trojan. I was going to say, Trojan. that's coming from a Trojan. <laughs> Only no bias, bias I'll give here. Yeah.